Greetings, brothers and co-workers, and welcome to your 2018 Association Convention. Over the years, I've attended many of these, and I know how it can be. If you sit in the back, nobody can watch you rest your eyes, and it looks like those sitting at the head table are playing video games on their monitors, and there are several independent conversations going on around you. You keep looking at your watch, and you ask the person next to you what time the hospitality room opens, and you've just about rubbed the numbers off the door prize of the 50-50 ticket and can't wait for them to call the number so you can pretend that you got to go to the bathroom and escape for a short nap before the hospitality room finally opens. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, I get it. It seems to be the same old thing sometimes. Sign more members, close the back door, do some community service, get your reports in on time, and so on. I wish I could tell you that all of that's changed, but I can't. You see, there's some things that are so important that we've got to cover them. Sure, every once in a while we'll get an animated presenter that'll tell a joke and wake us up, but for the most part it's pretty much the same. Boring, right? Well, it depends. Some associations do a great job of making it interesting and fun, but why should we depend on them to entertain us? Shouldn't we offer suggestions to help as well as be interactive? I think so. So with that being said, if you were at the International Convention in New Orleans, which is where I'm at now, you probably heard that we've recently conducted a study and realized that the majority of our members have never submitted an application for membership into the Moose. To be exact, 337,189 members are in the Never Signed Club. That's not a good club to be a member of. Last year we signed 79,555 members, but we dropped 83,826. You don't need a calculator to figure that one out. We also ended the year 10,671 less than what we started with. What's wrong? Okay, you have several presenters to listen to this weekend and every message is equally important. But if we don't have members to make presentations to and nobody patronizing our lodges, then it's all just going through the motions, am I right? If you're sitting at the head table or on the association executive board or your district president sitting up front or on the sidelines, listen up, this message is for you. As leaders, we are charged with the responsibility of not only leading by example, but helping when we can. How are you planning to help your lodges grow? Did you know that membership is a responsibility of each and every person in this room, especially you? So I'm issuing a challenge to our leaders. Develop a plan to encourage those who have never signed a member as well as an in-house association and lodge campaign that targets membership production. I ask that each of you, everybody, join the Five Club this year and sign at least two Moose Legionnaires. We ask this of our field staff and we'd like for you to join us in promoting membership leading by example. And let me ask you this, are you a Moose Legionnaire? As an officer, you certainly should be. That includes each and every lodge officer. We need to lead by example. Brother President, please ask your Moose Legion ambassador in attendance to have applications at the ready. There's no time like the present. And here's a suggestion. Member Retention Week is November the 4th through the 10th. Wouldn't it be a great time to solicit the help of the Council of Higher Degrees if you have one, or gather a committee to include your board at the lodge and make some phone calls and schedule some activities? Nobody's going to do it for us. Use the expired member kit provided monthly. It'll help. Recently, I was determined not to renew a membership at a lodge unless someone contacted me just to see if they would. After I expired, I got a phone call and decided to renew. If I'd have got that phone call before, then I would have never expired. That may not work in every instance, but who knows? Make a phone call. Like you heard earlier, we don't seem to have a problem signing members, but we can't seem to keep them. So what are we gonna do about that? We don't have enough time to address all of the issues here, but I can tell you that in many cases, we are our own worst enemies. You don't have to be a member of a lodge to walk in and realize that nothing's changed in a very long time. Recently, I heard an administrator was wondering why they can't sign or keep members. The main reason is absolutely nothing has changed in 20 years and with him at the helm. You see where I'm going with this? All right, let me climb down off of my soapbox since a couple of you have already been looking at your watches and ready to go. Yeah, it's time. It's time to start doing something about our lodges. It's time to clean up our act and care about our future. It's time that we get smart and mentor leadership for our future. 
It's time to make some hard decisions and stop protecting the few that keep doing the same thing over and over again. We're Moose on a mission, so what's yours?